shouldn't do here. You can't W get RTMP streams. So I'm gonna show you that. You can see what I went through basically to try and figure this out. <laughs> I tried all many different options. So I'm W getting it. I forgot to put the file name in. Folks, my name's Cal. I'm uh, one of the senior staff goons here. Um, perhaps earlier today you heard an announcement from Priest about humans that have been, or, or conference attendees that have been going into Katie's and doing a dine and dash. And um, in one case, some folks rang up a bill of over 100 bucks and then took off without paying. And it's happened multiple times. And and uh, we like this hotel so far, and and uh, we want to keep coming back. So what we'd like to do is pass the hat. If you got a buck or two. Um, we've got a couple other senior staff goons that are going to help um, collect uh, a couple bucks, and then whatever's left over that has it, um, that covers the damage goes to the EFF. Okay, I'm going to start. Sorry, it restarted, so we're just gonna have to watch this again for a second. It's not that loud. Oh yeah, so this band Great Tiger, they um, originally their music was only available on MySpace, and you know I tried the easiest thing to get their music, which is just like ask them for it, and I tried, actually my friend Rodin tried too, we tried to social them to give us all their music, but they wouldn't give it to us, so we had to find alternative ways. Actually, they, they actually gave me a CD after this, but yeah. This works for this, I mean, yes, you can. <laughs> Maybe they'll fix it. All right, so this is pretty much where I left off before that guy talked. So I'm just saying, you know, it's going to fail because I'm, I'm W getting RTMP stream. That doesn't work. So there's the failure right there. It's not a supported scheme. So then uh, the next thing that I'm going to try and do is I'm going to just try and use RTMP dump and just download the MP3 without modifying the URL. What happens then? That's just uh, me saying exactly what I just said, actually. <laughs> oh, no, that's my test MP3. I'm actually going to show you, too. I'm going to download it as an MP3. And I'm going to play it, and you, hopefully you can hear that the quality is, is not very good, and that's why I use the converter, so that it's, it sounds good. OK, so we're going to expect that this is going to fail, because I haven't modified the URL. and it failed. 
All right, so now I'm going to um, modify the, the URL to include RTMPE. And it's going to work. <laughs> Just There we go. Yay. All right, so now you can see the file size there. It's downloaded successfully. But it's an MP3, and like I said, it, uh, it doesn't sound very good. Sounds choppy. Know, you can go to my Q and A. So now I'm going to uh, run the same command again, except I'm going to download it as, as an FLV. Download successful. I look, the file size is exactly the same, even though it's a different format. And now I'm going to use the converter to convert it from an FLV back to an MP3. successful. All right, now let's see if you can hear the difference in the sound quality. I'm not done. I'm not done. Sorry. You got to keep sitting here. But um, also, so now I'm looking at the file sizes of the two different files. And you can see that when it's converted with the convert um, FLV to MP3, you know, it, it adds to the file size. It get, like, repairs it. So. <laughs> Mouse dancing. <laughs> That was our, that was our uh, video intermission. So now we'll continue with the next part, which is uh, from YouTube. OK, so uh, how to get MP3 files from YouTube. Um, this is just like URL manipulation. So the first step you're going to do is you're going to install Firefox if you don't already have it. You're going to install HTTP Fox if you don't already have it. You're going to start HTTP Fox, and you're going to browse to the YouTube page that you want to extract media from. 
So for my example, again, I'm using uh, Great Tiger, the Brooklyn band. Um, I'm using one of their videos. So um, this, this shot, you can see there's traffic already captured there at the bottom. And instead of doing a, a, a search for get song, you can just do a search for get in order to traverse all the amount of traffic that you are capturing. Um, get only returns one URL unless like you browse multiple YouTube pages. So you're just going to copy that URL. And the next step is download wget if you don't have wget for some reason. And we're going to modify the URL. So there's, um, there's parameters within the URL that are extra that you don't need in order to try and wget the file. And actually, if you don't modify the URL and remove some of the extra parameters, well, they're not, they're not extra, but the parameters that you captured, when you try and convert it, it won't convert properly. So there I have the syntax of what you need to put into wget. wget minus open you know, your file name, that flv, and then the, uh, the captured URL. So uh, here's the unedited, unedited version of the URL. You, uh, the URL. You can see there's a whole bunch of parameters there. Um, the web page and a bunch of different parameters. There's the URL again. So um, I broke down each of the different parameters. So um, you have to, uh, there's get video, and then there's a detailed page, there's T, and some string of characters. It's 43 um, characters, actually. Um, and then there's the FMT, that has to do with like a resolution. And then there's the video ID, which is like the actual video ID. Um, then there's no flu and SFE. So, um, and when you um, copy the URL, all of these parameters come out of order a lot of times. So you actually, you know, you have to be able to identify uh, that there's different parameters there. They don't always come in the order in the example URL. They come all out of order, with the exception of uh, the get video one. So let me just talk for a second here. So <laughs> originally when I did this white paper like a month ago, you only needed three um, parameters. You only needed the get video, which you're always going to need. You needed the, the T and the 43 characters and then the video ID. You didn't need the SFV, but um, you know, I, keep, uh, I, I kept trying my own presentation to make sure it still worked. And the guys at YouTube, they changed it Tuesday. <laughs> All right, so Tuesday I was like, oh my God, it doesn't work anymore. So I had to rehack it and I figured out that you just, uh, you just need this other parameter too and then you can download it. So that's what I was talking about before where like, uh, you know, Grease Monkey or something like, like that, they changed it so I don't know if you know, the, the other add-ons, if they're still going to work, they're going to have to go update it, re, you know, put out the add-on that's going to uh, successfully work. But if you break out and understand these parameters and they're just like including them or not including some of them, you can just hack it all on your own. Okay, so I have my example URL and now I have my modified URL at the bottom. And I'm just w-getting, you know, this modified URL. So there, I'm putting the commands into, um, you know, with wget, with my modified URL, I'm executing it, and my download's complete. And now I'm going to convert it to an MP3 if I want it to be an MP3 file. And let's see a video of all of that and like uh, some of the things that don't work in it in my other video. So. Okay, so I'm just going to YouTube, and I'm going to search for um, Great Tiger's video because it's really short for this demonstration. I'm going to start HTTP Fox, 